the Tamil Nadu government has now blamed Nalini Chidambaram over the NEET verdict. Congress MLAs were evicted from the Tamil Nadu Assembly over the NEET debate. The Congress opposed the AIA-DMK blaming Nalini Chidambaram over this verdict. MK Stalin too has raised the issue of NEET-related debt. Stalin said that, the demand that they've demanded a resolution against the centre and against Piyush Goyal. So this has all become a big political issue. Sam Daniel joins us to make sense of these developments. Let's first, before we go across to Sam, listen in to what Nalini Chidambaram had to say. She as a lawyer has done her duty for her clients. We have certain ethics and it is a profession. Everybody knows. So one cannot mix politics with profession. That is different. This is different. And she is a lawyer and she is not any uh, party representative or a party MLA or MP. So she is not bound by the party stand. She can definitely entertain her clients. All right, that was in fact uh, Vijay Dharani, I stand corrected, a Congress MLA who has reacted to this entire controversy. Let me go across to Sam Daniel. Sam, make sense of the political developments that are taking place. The Tamil Nadu government now blames Nalini Chidambaram. That's what it's. The trigger is, of course, the death of led by suicide by three NEET aspirants or aspiring doctors on Saturday, just the day before the NEET exam, Rishika. And in the assembly, the DMK tried to build a consensus saying both parties should work together for a strong resolution in the assembly against the central government and uh, uh, the Union Minister Piyush Goel there. At that point, the ruling AIADMK accused Nalini Chidambaram, the wife of uh, senior Congress leader and former finance minister, for having taken up the case against, in favour of NEET and having won that case in Supreme Court, after which the government says it became difficult or literally impossible for the Tamil Nadu government to get exemption from NEET. In the year 2017, Nalini had represented a group of CBC students from Tamil Nadu who were up in arms against the Tamil Nadu government's attempt to create an 85% quota for students who pass out of state board schools in Tamil Nadu. At that time, it was she who had taken up the matter in the Madras High Court, also in the Supreme Court. And it's in that context, the ruling AADMK is now trying to put the blame on uh, Mrs. Chidambaram. And the Congress say she, in her personal capacity as a professional lawyer, had taken it up and she has nothing to do with the party stand. And uh, the DMK tried to project that although it was during the Congress's regime as part of, uh, uh, it was also an ally of that, of the Congress at that point in time, although the NEET was introduced at that point in time, yes. the DMK claims it had made sure it was not implemented in Tamil Nadu as they managed to get an exemption through a presidential absent at that point in time and they tried to blame the AADMK for having failed to do that. Right. It's in this blame game this thing happened but the assembly session will be for one more day. We'll have to wait and see whether we'll be able to pass a resolution. But the larger demand well, absolutely. is of course you know, for The years. blame at the moment has been pinned on Nalini Chidambaram. Uh, you know, EPS has in fact come out and said that the fact that uh, Nalini Chidambaram argued and won the case. Clearly, Sam, this has become uh, you know, a very, a very uh, difficult conversation over these suicides. Actor Surya stepped in. There's a, you know, a, a threat of a contempt case that is still hanging uh, against him. This has become a hugely political issue in Tamil Nadu. The death of these four NEET aspirants. It is a hugely political issue, Rishika, because for ten years, nearly ten years, Tamil Nadu had. Uh, done away with the system of entrance test for medical admission, saying it favours affluent students, students who can afford private coaching, puts students from rural background, poor families at a disadvantage as they cannot afford private coaching and they made admission, medical admission on the basis of class 12 marks but this was halted after need came into play. When the DMK was there, they managed to get a presidential assent but then the BJP government made that mandatory, except Tamil Nadu, all other states have accepted. Of course, there are those who argue that a system like NEET is important to make sure 
people with good caliber, with critical thinking, right. will be able to become doctors. Otherwise, they say there could be a compromise on the quality of doctors the state produces. Right. Others argue for years, Tamil Nadu has been in the top of uh, healthcare, providing yes. a robust health system, and they were able to produce high quality doctors. And they say this only favors those who can afford right. to get coached by well, private. Absolutely.